Hello, people. I just thought I'd make a short video of progress on the TRX-4 so far. Um, yeah, it's I've gone pretty crazy with it. We're not done yet, so this is just a little update on what's going on. I see a lot of builds out there, so it's uh, it's quite interesting to see what you can put together versus all the other people out there. Um, so it's kind of going to be like a little bit of a sponsor video. So if you're bored with that, um, I guess don't watch, but this is what we got so far. So we'll start at the front end, turn the truck here. So here's the front end. This is not a real winch. This is actually string plus a hook that I got from the hobby store, which is I'm pretty sure by yacht racing, a lot of yacht racing stuff on here. This um, another yacht racing accessory, I would say. Um, it's their chain plus hook, and I thought I'd just add a little bit more scale detail to the front like that. The jack, that is the factory jack off the back of the truck. And I'll tell you, as we go around this rig, Sharpie does a lot, I must say. So that is spruced up a bit with Sharpie. And we tied it onto the front like that just to get a little bit more of a kind of dual look. And I do have a different jack on the rear that is either from Cross RC or Yeah Racing. I can't really remember at this point. But um, I think it looks pretty cool. So that is, you can do that because I am not going to put a real wrench on here, I don't think. Because I already have cable and it overloads the XL5 um, ESC, I've heard. So, and I don't really need a winch yet. Um, still stock front bumper, obviously, but most people on YouTube I see are still actually running the stock bumper, and I haven't found a bumper that I think would look good on this yet in metal. So this you cannot do from the factory. What this is is you got to remove this winch part, and then you got to drill holes through the bottom so you can feed the string all the way around it, and then from there it just clamps on. And since it clamps onto the bumper, it actually just holds like that. And I tied it and decided to hook it in these hooks. And yes, these are different hooks. I did buy some metal ones, except they don't work. I need to buy some TRX-4 metal hooks because the ones from Cross RC are too thick and they do not go through these holes. Um, and even if they did, they're too pressed up against there and I'd have to dremel or drill out that and that's too much work i'm not going to screw around with all that stuff um these are the traxxas red ones i put the traxxas red ones on here because the trx4 comes um stock with gray ones this color does at least um so then that is just wrapped around there and the hook's dangling there so that's pretty much the front end um haven't done any radiator upgrades or anything like that um so there's the hood. Haven't done any diamond plating on the hood. I don't think I want to. I think it would make the truck. It's too much. Um, I've already got the truck looking really good as it is, and I want to keep it somewhat minimal. Um, oh, look, there's a huge smudge on front. It's a bit scratched up. I've ran it twice, but I haven't ran it at all with these new wheels and tires and stuff like that. So a um, little bit of detailing, as you can see. Um, that's all Sharpie going around there, kind of to simulate the panel lines. Um, that is what it would look like on the real one. So I decided to do that. Um, and on that note, wheels and tires. As you can see, Duratrax, Deepwoods, CRs. Um, and these are G-made rims. I don't remember what kind, but they are G-made beadlocks. So, um... Yeah, I think they're going to work pretty good. I might put a set of axial stock tires on it to give it a little bit more scale look in the future. But right now, these I like the lettering on these, and they're unbelievably squishy. Um, so we're going to run those for a little while. On the internals, I don't think I'm even going to show you guys because it's all stock except the servo. The servo is the Power HD. It's the Chinese one that everybody else is doing. I think I bought the 23-kilogram one, which... Maybe not. I, I don't know. There's some debate out there on whether it's the better one or not. But that's the one I got. And I can tell you, I think it's going to be two times better than stock. And stock, I actually could deal with myself. So I think we're going to be okay there. Um, 
had a lot of trouble mounting these tires, but that's because I think I was doing it improperly. So once I figured out how to do it, they went together really well. Um, on that note, I have, as you can see, there's rear mud flaps. I have fronts coming. Fronts are coming. Um, so I get some mud flaps on there. That's going to look good. And I have windshield wipers coming. Um, so that'll look better. I actually just got the hinges in today, which is a nice upgrade. Um, so now that we're on the side, this is another, I don't remember, Yaw Racing something or other product, but I just did this, hooked it around, and it looks kind of bare there. So I decided to just stick it around there like that for now. I think that looks pretty good. Some of you guys will probably argue with me on what's most scale. Honestly, it's an RC, so... I'm sacrificing from some scale to some good looks, but that's okay. So um, then we move to this. This was installed yesterday. Um, this is Yaw Racing. I know that for a fact. Diamond plate for the rails. Now, the big debate I was actually going for is I was going to get these. I have these are the Yaw Racing rear ones. This is the Yaw Racing um, rail one. And I was really, really debating getting the one that goes along the potty right there. But I figured, because that's actually what I thought I bought, but then it turns out I didn't, and I realized I bought this on accident. I'm like, okay, what do I do? So the choice was I either buy that and ditch this, or I can just do this and finish it off with the door hinges. So I think if I did another one on the body, I think it'd be too much. So... I just uh, kind of reflects anyway, got that one and finished it off with the door hinges, which is, I think, really, really cool. Um, not the door handles most people get. These are the cheapest I could find. 3D printed looks way better than stock. Um, so that's pretty much that. So back here, it, these are not the ProLine accessories. Believe me, I will not buy ProLine because I think it's just ridiculous what they charge. This is either Yaw Racing or Cross RC or something. I don't remember. Now, originally, you can probably tell they were yellow. Again, amazing what Sharpie can do. This is Sharpie work. Brown Sharpie, color it in, and you're going to get that look like they're actual metal. Now, I can see I have some faded spots on that tool there, but it's... um. It turned out really nicely. They don't stick out like a sore thumb. I just use zip ties to clamp them there, and it pretty much just sits on the car. That's I, I like it. I'm really impressed with it. So um, again, Sharpie work, small details. You'll be surprised what the small details are in Sharpie work. Um. It just brings out the entire truck. So I did the door lines, door panel gap lines. Now, it's not perfect all the way around, but that's just what you run the risk of when you're doing that. And believe me, it's hard to do Sharpie lines. Um, it's it's pretty crazy. So um, we'll see how it stands up. And the thing is, is I'm not going to take the time to do paint and stuff because I can always redraw Sharpie lines. And if I didn't like it, which was the question, I could erase it with literally an eraser on a pencil, which is a really, really nice feature. So, yep, Yaw Racing rear quarter um, diamond plate, Little Tracks is sticker, the black one, just to make sure it blended in. I know this isn't very accurate, and we've got the fuel tanks back here. Um, I wanted to cover that stupid screw, and that didn't do a very good job. Now that I can print my own stickers, I'll probably print a new one and get something new. So, we'll see how that works. Um, Again, sprucing up, it's all Sharpie work back there. Um, black Sharpie, silver Sharpie, and then black Sharpie, and black Sharpie to bring all that out. Um, I think that turned out really, really good, actually. Um, so actually, I'm going to run out of video here, so let me pull you up on another one. Okay, um, yep, Sharpie work, a little bit of a holly sticker, and it's the only sticker that kind of matched the body that I got from the sticker sheet that I bought and it, it, I don't know how like they do EFI ignition stuff. So we can just pretend there's an EFI ignition in this by Holly. I don't know. Um, license plate still the same screwed in that screw probably has to be loosened a little bit. I can see a dimple to the video, but 
the factory light kit is installed on this, and it's the full light kit. It's not just the headlights and the rear tail lights. It's the light bar as well. Um, I was big on that because the biggest thing I wanted was the um, factory rock lights, which I think are the coolest thing ever. They are mounted under there somewhere. I'll have to show you it with the lights on sometime. But I got the factory rock lights on it, which makes it look absolutely amazing. Um, so we continue around, and you can see we have some Land Rover mud flaps. Pretty cool. Generic eBay. Um, they work for me. I can't see why they're not going to work. So I, I think it just makes the truck look so much better. I really like the look of the truck with those mud flaps on there. Um, again, a couple of Traxxas, uh, tow shackles on the rear. This is the Yaw Racing tow hitch. Um, since there's a stock receiver unit in the stock bumper, which it is stock, I do plan on upgrading to aluminum in the future, but right now it's not what I'm concerned about. Um, you'll notice the one in the store comes brass color. Again, black Sharpie. Doesn't really rub off. If it does, I can just redo it, and I just made it black, and it matches the rest of the car, which is a really nice touch. Um, life is like rock crawling. You guys have probably seen that before. Yeah, racing again. Like I said, there's a lot of that on this truck. Um, here's that jack I was talking about. We're leaning. There we go. Here's the jack I was talking about. This is either a cross RC or yeah, racing. A little bit of Sharpie work on this one I did yesterday, actually, um, just to bring out the details. And it may not be right, but again, I don't really care. It looks more scale. Instead of th this was all red, and that was all red. It was all red here, and I wanted it to look a little bit more scale. So this is not the factory one. Trust me. Um, it's got this gold color. The front one is the factory one, and I spruce that one up. Up here we got more Yaw Racing. That's the leftover chain from the front. Um, I just took a zip tie, and it was on there with this before, but it was a different chain, so I actually had to retie that, and I just decided to use a zip tie because this wasn't holding it all together. But that all, um, that just pretty much dangles there, which is, uh, it works pretty well, I would say. Um, so we continue to turn. Now we come to this side. Um, I know you'll be shocked to see no fuel filler cap. That is currently coming in the mail. It is currently lost, so they need to find it. Um, I'm getting a realistic 3D filler cap, and I will show you that on the next update video when I get stuff coming in for this truck. But again, yeah, racing. Um, another mud flap. More squishy tires. Um, I decided to do a fire extinguisher. A lot of guys don't like that. I think it looks okay. I'm not worried that it's not 100% scale because the truck does come with not clear windows. Someday I do plan on doing a new body. I'm going to paint it the same red color, but it's going to be white up here. And then it's going to have the white G-made wheels that are the same style as this. So it's going to kind of have that old retro look. But um, that's, yeah, that's that. And I made these stickers off my printer. I bought some sticker sheet. Um, Land Rover Experience, I didn't really like where the guys were putting them on the door. I think it took up too much room and made it cluttered much. Um, I like the simple look of that right now. So I decided to put it here, kind of behind my uh, makeshift rope and bucket. And speaking of the bucket, that is different kind of chain. Don't remember what kind of bucket this is. You're going to find it at your hobby store. Um, when I bought all this stuff, I bought some ice. There's cans of soup. There's some beer. Um, those are the old toe shackles, those are the metal ones. Um, some tie-down straps, which we'll get to the top and I'll show you. Um, so the ice actually goes in the bucket when it's stationary, and I can put the little beers and the drinks in there, and the, the you know, the little soup, which is, I think, really, really cool. Um, so there's a couple extra accessories I bought there. Um, Yep, generic fire extinguisher. Honestly, wish it had a sticker on it. That would bring it out much more, I think, but it looks good for what it is. I didn't want to buy the complete cheap one that didn't have any gloss finish to it. So, um, uh, these are night customs. Those I know for a fact. Um, those 
right here. This is actually a Knight Customs product. Um, and what I did with this, I did not want to drill more holes in the body than I already have to. So I actually cut the nubs off the back. And you know what I'm talking about if you have these. Um, and I glued them on. And the glue I am using is actually... I don't remember what kind, but believe me, it's stuck. Um, it's pretty, pretty wretched. So, turns out door handles are really hard to install as well. I literally have, um, the back part is screwed in and the front is glued. The back part is screwed in, the front is glued. And honestly, that's the best way I figured out. I wasn't going to go under with the Dremel and find the second hole and do all that when I can just glue it on because I'm sure that's going to be a, uh, permanent fix because anything I take off that has screw holes in it, um, I, uh, I can't, I, I won't live with holes in the body. So that's, that's just how I roll. Um, yep. More Sharpie body lines and obviously Sharpie the little details again. Um, so that's pretty much what that looks like. Um, wheel again, I, again, don't think I'm going to do the diamond plating. I might do the realistic vent sometime in the future, but we'll see. Um, windshield wipers are coming. And again, I don't know if this is an actual brand or generic brand, but I just bought it anyway because it was better. This is obviously not the stock snorkel. This is a, I don't know what snorkel, but a lot of people seem to have it and it may not be seated right right now i'll fix that in the future but that is a real great event and i did have to glue that on there such like that and that just brings it out it doesn't have that stupid uh, i can actually show you um stock tires stock servo that's all oh, that servo that's what i got um here's the stock one um, I did not like that flatness at all, and I could have just bought a cap for it, but at that price point, I might as well buy um, the whole thing. And obviously, I am using the new RPM stand. It's basically trash for actually working on your truck. The only thing it's good for is working, because the only thing it's good for is displaying, because it does that. This truck weighs in at 9.8 pounds right now, currently, with the battery installed, and that is with no brass installed whatsoever. There is nothing but these G-made steel bead locks that is upgraded for weight distribution. So that it's it's a heavy truck. Um, so yeah, I think I will finish with the top quick. Here's the top of the truck and it keeps falling over um up here body clips obviously and then i got this little pepsi bucket rigged in it was just what they had at the logo hobby shop which is totally okay um this is actually a cargo net for the whole thing i didn't really like the look of it covered up so i decided to make it just an accessory so it looks optional cooler painted up the cooler um a lot of it is sharpie work again i painted the cooler and the toolbox, but there is some Sharpie work involved with that. It's tied on with the rope, which is nice and realistic looking. Sleeping bag is on there. I had, I had, I just had to put the little RC trucks in there and a sender. I got that. I wish it was in red because I, as you know, if you've seen my unboxing, I had an ascender. And I loved that truck, so I needed to get that. Um, with that, I got a little remote there too. Um, map couple scale maps there um a gas can again you can't ever have enough of those a little bit of rope one of those tie down straps and my painted uh tool kit or a toolbox there as you can see so um <clears throat> um so then that as you can see i have some planet earth stickers on there um really big fan of that show really big into the whole nature thing as you can probably see right now that's a picture i took i do a lot of photos and stuff for a lot of things um so i had to make my own personal touch because i saw everybody else putting special stickers on their trucks so um 
again, printed those out with the machine, put one up front, put one on this side, and put one on the other side as well. Let's see if I can turn it around without tipping. Nope. I'll tell you, this stand is honestly annoying. Don't buy it if you plan on working on a truck. Um, right there, another sticker. Um, and this is the Yaw Racing Ladder. Well, no. I think it's Cross RC, actually. Um, it's the short one, though. I did not want the extra long one because it wouldn't really fit. I just wanted to put a little extra something on the back there. So um, that, that pretty much added that. Um, See so you. Factory front light bar. Factory front LED light kit. Factory rock lights are above. Trust me, they're there. Um, that's pretty much everything. Um, it, I tell you, it just takes patience and time and motivation and dedication and money to build something like this. Um, I have a super passion for it right now, so I have kind of gone crazy obviously, um, but it's what I like, so I think it looks really good, and I can't wait to get this thing, uh, out on the trail, except parts aren't showing up currently, so I can't actually do that, um, yeah, I think it looks really good, I think it's pretty much everything I've ever wanted in a truck, I've had ever since it came out, it's pretty much been my dream truck, and I, uh, last minute stuff was able to pick it up quick and then I just kind of went crazy with the accessories um so let me know in the comments if you want to see updates on the truck I will doing be doing a run video a very edited kind of movie like video like you see um with uh ku I don't remember his name, Kuwa, something else. He has my favorite TRX4 on YouTube. And then there's um, Kinsoon's RC, Kinsoon's, or however you pronounce it, RC Life, which I think he makes really good production videos. And there's a couple others out there that are just amazing. And as soon as I saw those videos and I saw the one guy's truck, I was like, yep, that's where we're going. Um, except it's going to be my own personal taste. And that's where... That is where we are going. Um, let me know if you want to see updates. Front mud flaps are coming. Windshield wipers are coming. Um, the extension lead for the servo is coming, so I actually can get the servo working. It's wired up. I just can't plug it into the receiver because it's too short, so I had to order some leads for it. Those haven't showed up yet. Fuel filler cap is coming, um, hopefully within the next day. If not, I'm going to go have to scream at the post office more. Um, new foams are coming. I know that. I think that's it. I think that's all I got for now. Someday, maybe, maybe I might put hinges on the hood. We'll see. Uh, I just saw that speck of dust as well. That was interesting. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what uh, you got. I want to see what you guys got on your channel and the builds you got. I'm always excited to see that. I also someday want to build an SCX-10 II um, Jeep Wrangler, this uh, 2017 version. Really love the look of that truck. I just look at it and I see tons of potential with the rear tire mounts and all that goody stuff. But right now we're focusing on the Defender. So yeah, catch you later.